Hello, welcome back to these videos where we learn English every day. On these money videos, I usually give advice. We've uh, already done study advice, and now I'm doing health advice. So, of course, uh, if you're following along with this health advice, the beginning of this year, I'm doing six health advice to help your body feel 30 years younger. To, you'll be healthier by 30 years. You can minus 30 years off your age. Isn't that a great deal? So, okay, so before I start, don't forget to like below smash that like button and subscribe and give us a comment if you have any other advice if you have any other questions but related to today's topic or any advice please give us a comment below so so far we've done eating breakfast every day uh sorry we're working on six tips to make your body healthier so of course by 30 years number one was eating breakfast every day number two avoiding sex between meals three is keeping your ideal weight as i explained in the last video what ideal means and today is regular exercise. So again, this is based on research that if people did these six things, so uh, people aged 55 to 64 who practice all of these habits were found to be as healthy as younger people aged 25 to 34 who followed only one or two of them. So if they're in their uh, around 30 years old, 25 to 34, and they did only one or two of these things, if you're older, 55 to 64, you did all six, you'll feel as young as them. So it matters. So what we do matters. So what we do every day makes us a better person. As I say, be better every day. So you are what you do, as they say. They sometimes say you are what you eat. I say you are what you do. Okay, so let's see. So don't forget to like and subscribe below. And let's we'll get started with regular exercise. So regular exercise. This is debatable what people mean by regular exercise. There's um, a lot of debate about how regular it is, what kind of exercise is important. Uh, I was on the fence with this for years, but now during COVID, I, as I mentioned in the last video, I lost like 19 kilograms during COVID and uh, I'm not on the fence anymore. I, I have an idea what regular exercise means. So they recommend at least uh, three times a week you should exercise. And I think an hour each time. So minimum hour a week. i uh, sorry, hour a time three times a week. So three hours a week. And I thought that was interesting too, but I divided it up. So instead, for me, I do 50 minutes times six days. So that's what, uh, 50 minutes times, so 300 minutes a week. So five hours a week I do. So I thought one hour a day is good. And I thought working days, so not off days. So I thought five hours is good. But then if I do it five days a week and two days off, I might be lazy, not I might be, I probably won't be able to <laughs> rebound and start the habit again. As they say, it takes 21 days to build a habit. It takes 21 days to lose a habit. So it's easy to lose a habit. If you do it every single day, it's easier. So I recommend for the first 21 days, at least do this every single day. So what I do is I walk. So I walk for 50 minutes. A lot of my college students do this too. It's, it's, uh, it's easy to do. And it's uh, cost effective. It's very cheap. You can just walk outside. And what I mean by easy is, so the biggest struggle about most exercise, I mean, included, I was a member of a gym for like five years, and uh, is getting. You got to put on your getting there. Starting the habit is usually high. So you got to make the fewest amount of obstacles to get to that habit. So for example, so if you're a member of a gym, which I don't mind if you want to lift weights and stuff, I, I need to rejoin a gym to help my muscles uh, pain, which I agree with. But for healthiness of my body, that walking is good enough. So because if I want to go to a gym, I have to put on my gym clothes. I have to get in the car and drive to the gym and then park and get inside and maybe I have to change my clothes inside. I might even have to take a shower after the gym, before the gym and change my clothes. So there's a lot of things in my way, uh, obstacles or hurdles to get to the action. Whereas walking is why it's recommended is you can just walk out through your door. You can just uh, jump up in the morning and boom, walk, go outside and just walk outside. And you can walk in any direction. My college kids love this for the same reason I love it is that you can walk in any direction any day so you can change if you're just walking on a treadmill in the gym you're always seeing the same scenery but if you're walking in every direction from your house north south east west southeast southwest you can go in eight different directions every day is a different habit uh, by the way sorry before i continue boat boat sorry that's unrelated to this video but boat <laughs> okay so next uh so of course walk every day 
So walking matters. Uh, getting in the habit matters. It helps you mentally and emotionally. I realize going to the gym helped me a lot physically, maybe, and healthy, uh, healthy was. But this one also helps you mentally, physically, emotionally. It calms you down. And it helps your heartbeat. There's a lot of things I'll talk about later. Uh, going outside, why going outside matters. I'll talk about that in a different health advice later. But doing these things every day matters. Doing these things regularly matters. So it teaches your body that you care about how it is. So mentally you're like, oh, I do care about it. I'm trying to work on my body. And your body will come out of it and say, yes, you're working on me. Thank you. So, because in the last two years, the only thing I've done to lose 19 kilograms is walking and I go to restaurants less uh, because they're closed, of course, because it's not my choice. Okay, so thank you very much. So that was, again, regular exercise. The important point is aerobic exercise outside matters for this habit, for this uh, advice. So outside and aerobic, using your air, something to use your air, biking, running, walking. I prefer walking. It's the easiest thing. It's There's no hurdles. There's no obstacles to me. I can just poof, walk. I even listen to podcasts to help me. Uh, I can learn something every day. and also calms me down listening to podcasts as I'm walking around. So hopefully that will help you. Please come again next week where we'll have another of these tips. This is, again, tip number four about how to keep your body 30 years younger. So next week will be tip number five. So these have six tips. We'll have more than that. We'll have probably about 34 health tips. We'll have six in the beginning of this to how to be 30 years younger. Okay, thanks again for watching. Don't forget to comment below if you have any questions or concerns or advice for me, something that I forgot in this video. And of course, don't forget to watch these popular videos on our channel and other health advice or study advice tips here. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you in tomorrow's video. Have a good day.